talking about the problem here at the City Hall of Love to discuss the city and the business that need to be taken part of. Father, well, we just thank you for the City Council, Father, and the Mayor to sit down, Father, and try to agree to some of the things that we need to have done in the City, Father. Father, continue to give us a step fast, Father, to continue to move forward in the City, Father. To, to do all this, Father, when we do all this, Father, in your name, Father, we be uplifting this citizen and the people of this community, Father. Father, let's continue to be with us and guide us. Father, we cannot do anything without you, Father, lead us in the direction we're looking for, Father. Father, continue to give us the wisdom and knowledge, Father, that you have set before us, Father. When we do that, Father, we ask these blessings in your name. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I call this the Tuesday, April 27th, 2021 meeting of the Lord of the City of Smith Station. Thank you all for being here on this beautiful evening. We have a roll call vote to establish a quorum. Yes, sir, Mayor. Mr. Stringer, beer. Mr. Jackson? Here. Mr. Lanston? Here. Mr. Cooley? Here. Ms. Green? Here. Mayor Cooper? Here. We have a quorum of perfect attendance. Thank you guys so much. I know you're all busy lives. You were given the minutes for the April 13th, 2021 meeting, 21 meeting via email as well as hard copy. Are there any additions or corrections? <coughs> with none being brought forth, I call for a motion to say to approve the minutes. Motion to approve. Mr. Cooley? Second. Mr. Lanston? Thank you. Ms. Gray? Can I make a motion? Make a motion that we suspend the rules of ordinances and resolutions. Ms. Green has made a motion to suspend the rules and ordinances and resolutions so we can move forward on business that we have for items A, B, C, and D. Can I get a second? Second. Second. Mayor, I also would like to make a motion on um, resolution on A that we table this. Okay, um, let's get this one out of the way, then we'll do that. Okay. Okay. Um, any discussion on spending rules and ordinances resolutions? No discussion. I call for roll call vote on suspending rules. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanston? Yes. Mr. Cooley? Yes. <clears throat> Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Cooper? Yes. Ms. Green? Make a motion that we go ahead and table resolution A um, that's talking about the bid. Um, we'd like to get further information and we will have a special, I think, emergency meeting uh, on that. Ms. Green has made a motion to table item 2021-420, authorizing for Mayor Cohen to accept bid and enter contract with GNH General Contractors LLC for a public works facility building project. Mr. Cooley has seconded that. In discussion, I'd like to say that we have rescheduled the meeting for that. There will, there will, Mr. Morgan, Mr. Bryce, I'm asking you to make an agenda for that the yes, meeting sir. and add this agenda item to that meeting. Okay. The only thing on there, yes, sir. Um, so we can take action on that. It's so fit. If not, we can table it again. That meeting will be at six o'clock Eastern Standard Time. What day is that? May the third. May, May the third. Okay. Monday, May the 3rd. At 6 o'clock. Eastern Standard Time. Yes, sir. What date is that? Monday, May the 3rd. Any other discussion? None being brought forth. We don't have to have a vote on that. Sorry. Just table. Um, item B, 2021 421 for Mayor Landscape Contract. Is it just me? I'll be right there. Resolution 2021-421, resolution for the City of the Station, Alabama, authorizing Mayor Copeland to enter into a contract with Premier Landscape to provide roadside trash and debris collection and disposal for the City of the Station. Mr. Bryce, introduce 2021 421 Premier Landscape contract. Uh, can I get a motion a second? To make a motion. Second. Thanks. Thanks. In case you don't know, those of you watching at home, um, we do not have a system that we have correctional inmates that can pick up our roadside trash. Some four years ago, we decided to be um, back outside the box, and we have a contract with somebody that does our roadside trash pickup. 
and this is a renewal of that contract. They do a wonderful job, and I, I can't thank Premier Landscape enough through COVID uh, keeping our city clean. And you could definitely tell that we had somebody doing it, and I thank them, and, and I'm hoping this contract shall be approved. Any other discussion? I have a question. Is, is there an increase in their yearly uh, no, contract? Same as we was last year. Thank you. Oh, there's an increase in trash, man. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, no doubt about it. <laughs> <laughs> Any other discussion? No, I'm all for the ask for the vote. Okay. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanston? Yes. Mr. Cooley? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Copeland? Yes. <clears throat> Item 2021-422, providing Tier 1 benefits to Tier 2 members. Mr. Bryce, do you have a moment? Yes, sir. Resolution 2021-422, a resolution for the city of Smith Station, Alabama, providing uh, their Tier 1 benefits to Tier 2 plan members pursuant to provisions of Act 2019-132. Act you know, Mr. Cooley? Mr. Cooley? You a second? Second. Mr. Jackson, any discussion? This is a one-time opportunity for Tier 2 employees to stop State of Alabama RSA system to move to Tier 1 benefits. It's been a, an unfair system for a while, and the State of Alabama has made a one-time fee that allows us to fix this um, injustice. And uh, the employees have voted that they wanted to do this, and now it's before the council. Um, so I have a discussion. Would not be helpful if I call for the vote. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanston? Tyler Stain. Mr. Cooley? Yes. <coughs> Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Copeland? I'd like to abstain. Yeah. So noted. Increase employee contrib contributions to retirement system of Alabama. Mr. Cooley and Mr. Bryce, you get caught up on Yes, sir. Resolution 2021-423. A resolution for the City of Smith Station, Alabama, electing to increase and pool contributions to the retirement system of Alabama. Good. Motion second. Motion to vote. Mr. Cooley. Second. Second. Ms. Green. I'd like to note that this resolution will increase employee benefits on the bottom line for the year, physical year 2021 to $5,503.08 and subsequent years at the same Unless we have an increase in salaries and so on and so forth, we'll go up percentage wise. Any other discussion? None being brought forth, I call for the vote. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanston? Abstain. Mr. Cooley? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Cooper? I wish to abstain. So many. Moving along to item eight. Financial statement for the general fund budget statement for the month ending March 31st, 2021. Sir. You want to do that, Mr. Bryce? Yes, sir. I got information right here. Uh, starting off with page one for the general fund budget. What's that right? Got that pulled up. Sorry, it's toward the back. <laughs> uh, all right, so after the tax. <laughs> Income for the month of March was $5,909.04. Total business license income was $20,408.62. Total franchise fees received was $19,272.33. Gas tax distribution was $2,092.14. Rebuild Alabama tax income was $3,231.33. Planning and zoning fees, $2,174. Total property rental, $5,193.22. Moving to page two. Uh, total sales and use tax was, uh, the month of March, was $65,957.35. Tobacco tax was $1,344.87. Uh, Love's gas revenue, $12,355.70. Wholesale gasoline revenue was $2,442. Total wholesale gasoline revenue for the month of March was $14,797.70. Total income for the month of March was $140,502.20. Any 
Moving over to page three, starting with expenses for the general fund budget. Total administrative department expenses was $31,255.46. Over on page four, total finance and revenue department expenses for the month of March was $18,441.09. Total parks and recreation expenses for the month of March was $26,545.31. Uh, public works, road and street maintenance for the month of March expenditures was $30,350.74. Street signs, $4,910.80. Total public works expenses for the month of March was $69,538.78. Total expenses for the month of March were $145,780.64. Total for a net ordinary income of negative $5,278.44. Total net income of negative $5,178.44. And over on the second, I'm sorry. All right. Um, if you'll see, minus 5178 for the month of March, but we have uh, in the black a 328-51598 for year-to-date October through March 21st. Sorry, I didn't know that. Right. And over on to the uh, environmental budget um, for the quarter of January through March of 2021. Total garbage fees were $108,097.98. Total income of $108,132.35. Total expenses uh, through the quarter were $114,913.74 for a net income of negative $6,781.39. All right. You've seen the budget for the financial statement for general fund as well as environmental. Can I get a first or second for approval? Motion to approve. Ms. Second. Ms. Green. Thank you, guys. Um, moving on to item number nine, general business event request, Saturday, May the 1st, from 1 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Can I get a motion to second to approve that? I'm going to accept that. Mr. Trainer, can I get a second? Second. Ms. Green. Can I have a roll call vote, sir? Sir. Mr. Stringer? Yes. Mr. Jackson? Yes. Mr. Lanson? Yes. Mr. Cooley? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Mayor Copeland? Yes. Mr. Lemons, um, these are dear friends of ours, and they're dear friends of the city, and they care about our city. And uh, this is a very special thing we do every year, and I'd like to give a little bit of background on why we do it. Um, whether or not you believe it or not, there used to be discrimination against people of color and people that were not white, Caucasian, and housing. They were not allowed um, African Americans to live in certain subdivisions, and it was really a racist sentiment. So we as a city, along with other cities throughout the state of Alabama and the United States of America, joined with our partners with the East Alabama Board of Realtors and other realtors in the United States of America and say, we're not tolerated anymore. And we're going to vote to make sure that we have fair housing in the city of Smith Station. Uh, and that's the only right thing to do. So I shall read this to you in its entirety as we turn it over to the East Alabama Board of Realtors. They take pride in this. They uh, frame it every year and have it in their offices. And it shows that they show solidarity throughout their district that we will not tolerate racism in, in the cities and, and especially uh, our realtors. So whereas April marks the anniversary of the passage of the Fair Housing Act of 1968, we sought to eliminate discrimination in housing opportunities and to affirmatively further housing choices for all Americans. And whereas the ongoing struggle for dignity and housing opportunity for all, not the exclusive providence of the federal government, and whereas vigorous local efforts to combat discrimination can be effective if not more so than federal efforts. And whereas, in legal barriers and to equal opportunity in housing, no matter how subtle, diminish the rights of all. And whereas, the City of Smith Station partnership with the East Alabama Board of Realtors has led to the expanded outreach and education of the fair housing laws. Now therefore, by the virtue of the authority vested in me, I, Honorable F.L. Mayor 
Bubba Copeland, the mayor of Smith Station, on behalf of the city council to hear about a claim in April 2021 for how, as Fair Housing Month and the pursuit of the shared goal and responsibilities of providing equal housing opportunities for all men and women. We encourage all agencies, institutions, and individuals, public and private, to take action to end unlawful housing discrimination. There we go. Come here and get with me. She makes me look good. <laughs> She's so pretty. A resolution for the City of Smith Station, Alabama, appointing Morgan Bryce City Clerk, Secretary, Treasurer of the City of Smith Station. Whereas Morgan Bryce was appointed Interim City Clerk, Treasurer, Third Treasury on January 26, 2021, and whereas Morgan Bryce is performing the duties and functions of this Office of City Clerk, and whereas Morgan Bryce is attending Municipal Clerk official training, and whereas the City of Smith Station wants to avoid any disruption or confusion regarding the functions of the Office of City Clerk, now, th now therefore be it ordained by the City Council of the Smith Station, Alabama, that Morgan Bryce has been appointed the city clerk, secretary, and treasurer. I'd like to have this as a first reading to be voted on in the main, first main meeting. That's fine for everybody. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. You can do it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. He did. <laughs> 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 we got to do it. <laughs> To the agenda, for sure. Yeah. Unless you don't want. It. Oh, I'd love that. To be a if there's no one signed in. Uh, you know, get chance. Chance. I don't think so. No, sir. We don't have anyone signed in this meeting with public comments portion. Any council member discussion, reports, anything you'd like to add to the meeting? I have a question there. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the status on our installation of our road sign, street signs? Talk to, uh, to Rodney Bradley today. Um, they moved, so he told me he was going to have at least 50 to us by Friday. So we are ready to go. We got a buggy truck, we got our hammer, we got our, we got all the equipment, tools. We're ready to go day one if we can just get the sign. So well, the, uh, the first street signs going on just the main roads? The main thoroughfares, the bigger signs. We have every piece of equipment in house that we need to distribute the signs. Um, we just need to uh, get the sign. Get the sign. And uh, when he moved, he got behind two weeks, moved shops, he went to a bigger shop. And uh, so we're coming, it's coming. And it's, it's frustrating because we're still fighting with the mail. Miss Decent is 50% done with that. Um, she's having to go house by house by house, especially on Panther Parkway, as halves in the city, halves in the county. So we're getting all that worked out. And 
so, you know, people were like, I'm receiving packages at my house at Oak Ridge Drive. So, um, it was very frustrating that the sign's not up there. So I understand, and I promise you, we're working diligently. We're at the liberty of our sign maker. Just to make sure you clarify what Mr. Jackson asked there. The street signs are going on every street in the city, but there are some that are major thoroughfares that are getting larger signs than would normally be on, say, my street. And those will be the first ones we do the major third. Right. Yeah. I just know that some have a one way, you know, I, I say one way. The attachment uh, where you attach the sign, oh. it's just going down the main arteries. We just have one, on. one sign up right now, just one. Yeah. And that's in front of the school. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And I see what you're saying. It's going to be Southern Oak Drive like that. No. Uh, yeah. And what you refer to is only the bottom bracket is on, but when they put the sign up there, it'll be the other one. And we have all the brackets in the house. Good. Good. We have boxes and boxes. I, I have a lot of comments, even though you, know, you always have some negative things, but uh, people can all the way. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, some of the mail that's coming now, that has got the street, the new name on it. And I just Sunday, someone called me and told me that I can all the way to receive the sign, because the mail is coming in with the new name on it. Yeah. Just for, for council purposes, make sure that you remind everybody that says something to you, you got Two years. You had two years. Yeah. You got you got uh, a year and eight months. Well, mm -hmm. Yeah. Any other comments from the council? Just note, I did look. Parks and Rec. You know, they're using lights a lot more, so that's causing the expense of like the lights, the electricity line item under expenses definitely increased. But um, you know, it's all for a good cause with the with the sports, spring sports going on. Not to mention water. True. Mm -hmm. Because we have to water our grass at night. It would be rough. I'd rather water grass than have to put new retired turf in. Mm -hmm. um, any other comments? Okay. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for being part of Smith Station. Um, at this time, I'd like to recognize the media, Mr. Chris Gates from CTVB. Good guy. Um, I'd like to entertain a motion that we adjourn. Well, we'll speak to you. Chris Jackson. Media adjourn. I have to start the sign.